Hello everybody. This is a presentation about knowledge integration, systems thinking with externalization skill, which is one part of the SES model. I am Eklaitila, Meta Alipista Forum. This drawing is from Brain, together with the SESI model for SESI. It's assumed that knowledge is going this way from socialization to, to externalization in order to combine information and to internalize it again into the next step. And externalization is the process to change tacit information into tacit knowledge to explicit knowledge, which is easier to understand and deliver. Some questions and answers to this topic. Three questions. Answers from Water Center. We are un trying to understand how system is behaving and what kind of outcomes it produces. We need tools and new ways to think. Now it is good time for that. There are more than 100,000 articles about this combination system thinking and knowledge management, but they have a strong win-win relationship. If one is going forward, then another can follow. <coughs> this picture about this question is from Laura and Derek Cabrera the organization, they answer to what by four different things, definitions, distinctions, systems, relationships and perspectives. And in traditional way, we are thinking, using facts in order to get answers. But in system thinking, we many in many ways uh, try to find questions in order to create ideas. The first question there is how to find a memory trace of the system in our minds. Mm, and it should it should be based on well-known system concepts, some kind of keywords or so of that discipline, and it should en enable examination from relationships here. And the memory trace should be strong enough to allow planning, thinking of changes system interventions. Now those four questions are already half of the system on, on the way. Best questions are good answers. This is question 1b and then c and then d. They define something And then A, symbol A, is for distinctions. It's for defining identity for this coming system, which is now in prototype. This is a system. 
A, B, and C, and D, they are input of this system definitions, and there are outputs that are empty. Your externalization is defined here, is of making tacit knowledge explicit, where I'm knowledge is crystallized, becoming the basis of new knowledge. For example, this picture here. New kind of concepts, images, documents, and so on, to support interaction. Then the question, why the world is so fragmented and complex? It's a reason. We need systemicity. This is traditional systemicity, starting from logic and mathematics, 1940-1950. Decades. It's historic perspective in order to define what is systems design for modeling, decision making, and problem solving. Then systems thinking is quite different from that historic perspective. We have we are here systems thinkers, and we have certain kind of skills. There are eight kind of skills in this picture. This is for children, not very much new for adults. But formalism, there is no good formalism for systems thinking. Uh, and also tacit knowledge it has not good formalism. But then the third question here is paradigm, systemicity. What is that? It is third level cybernetics, includes universally and unification. This picture of the Cabrera organization, we have four waves, hard systems, soft systems, critical systems, and then the fourth wave universally in order to largely understand what is universality and pluralism and here we need systems thinking rules and system systemic organizations that are easier to understand and expect in the future than those kind of silos earlier. Then about the SASE model here, it has achieved paradigmatic status for understanding how to create dynamic knowledge. It's a framework for managing relevant processes. And then it has some drawbacks also. Criticism includes that the model doesn't explain how new ideas are appearing. But this small, tiny model named good reason here is one attempt in order to help persons to find ideas from the bottom at the earlier phase. Then how, how does this externalization work? This again the definition this process of making does it explicit in order to help sharing by others. This is one definition for system and it comes input comes from Wikipedia, we are some so here and the output is SESI model in this approach, but in the more general way, input can, can come from research articles, huge many, millions of them, or from any well-structured material or Wikipedia, in order to make them 
uh, a memory trace in order to um, use recognition and reasoning abilities where the tacit knowledge and explicit knowledge meet and the output here is for other users other persons to use is for crowdsourcing reorganization or on use on research and communication and so on many uses definition for systemics is here it's an attempt to development logical mathematical engineering and philosophical paradigms and frameworks in which physical technological biological social cognitive and metaphysical systems can be studied and modeled it's a very rich definition it premises very much then examples from this prose The first demonstration in this video is drone flying machine. Then another is open AI. And the third is hydrogen energy and hydrogen economy, the both. And then uh, humorously list Wikipedia has so many articles many many millions and they are good test material for this kind of approach in order to get my system or your systems to continue for documentation and other processes projects this is a um, table matrix uh, to define in order, order to define a generic system and it uses symbols alpha to omega each of them are on one row, purpose is the first row, discipline the second, and so on. The last one is feedback. It's conclusion, how uh, was it success or not. And those columns here, there can be multiple columns for many, it's its purpose, its context. <coughs> they describe how to use this kind of generic approach. The second column here is Turing machine. It describes how computers are working using this set and there is a reference here. Wikipedia references Turing machine formalism. And then systemic uh, metaphors. This is Luhmann's, Niklas Luhmann's 10 systems principle. He has defined so many systems for describing modeling society and then this is a process for of system science there are five of them there is document which describes information and then there are our demons drone open eye and this hydrogen economy and this is the last one here is business some kind of company like google it has a mission and vision and competence and so on and it has a massive transformation uh, center to get to make google bigger and bigger and so on to having more and more success yes it is possible and it's possible to define as many columns as you want by using this simple starting point then theories and examples for this systemic approach not all but some some of them is a system model knowledge creation model and then systemicity theory and concept which is one definition for system and then we have here three models to compare business concept and simple example and the last one is <coughs> most interested in my opinion uh, it is defined in Quora by some professional a symbolic system is generally a system which computes and communicates using symbols 
and this is uh, uh, examples are minds and computers. It means cognition. Okay, let's continue. Simple systems is a topic, a great idea of Stanford University in order to connect seven faculties there. And the basic idea here is that this simple system principle. This is my doctoral thesis from symbolic analysis and it is one principle of how to use symbolic system in order to study computer languages. Then about Steve Jobs here, there are very many use. Drone is easy to understand how simple systems is working and open eye is difficult and hydrogen economy is uncommon. But Steve Jobs here is one of the greatest inventors of the world and there are some of his innovations. There are so many, many. It's art and science and economy and technology and so on. And here Suri has understood how system, symbolic systems work. The next approach here, or the first demonstration, is about drones. Drones has numerous degrees of freedom. There is one drone drawing there. <coughs> and symbolic system for drone can be like something like that. There is a drone controller on the earth, not on earth air, and this is animation of how this kind of symbolic systems can be created. At first we have purpose, what is a drone, what is this idea and expectations, then we need some theories and environment and paradigm that changes so much that this innovation will be adapted by business and so on. Mm -hmm. There are theoretical inputs here on the left side and on the right, right side there are outputs for the research. And in the center below there is added value feedback on expectations. This a great starting point for a drone because it uh, tries to be as coherent as possible, covering the most difficult, the most interesting aspects. Then the SESI model in general, what is the knowledge creation model like? There is one research paper there written by Mikael Fischer for healthcare using this SESI model in hospitals and so on. It describes those persons, individuals and uh, groups and organizations, how they work. And this picture here left, I will show what is the purpose of socialization here. Uh, there are business documents, research papers, Wikipedia articles and so on, on many kind of information that is in, uh, in head, in brain of experts. And in this externalization phase, we can use any article, its system to be built. System facade is symbol, symbolic reference for the system. And facade is rather easy to plan. 
it enables analysis and your many kind of use cases. <coughs> and it makes possible to use crystallization to make the ideas crystal uh, and the combination phase there is like system of system systems defining and combination then engineering then systemic interventions this is systemic model in the externalization phase it's creating here first purpose then to understand its structure output change feedback control on eight phases and this kind of information can be collected from persons from experts and any kind for the certain purpose here but uh, in addition to the this first phase first level approach it's possible to understand systems more detailedly many levels many circles using some kind of proximity rules facts are the first level here rules are the next knowledge is the third level and then mediating and paradigm for example like that it's possible to define this kind of models for quality for efficiency and for problematics and by extending this approach into many systems, system of systems, possible to define loops <coughs> in the way that soft systems methodology has already used for many, many years. Then, <coughs> about the concept of definition, what is that? It defines a framework for systems thinking and systems practice by Edson. And there are the seven, uh, seven parts of it. And this Emerson spiral and communication control are new, not in the Cabrera definition. Then this approach is quite compatible with the so concept icon, but it has the, those kind of layers one two and and so on uh, it's possible to analyze this kind of information and to make synthesis <coughs> then a uh, description about company as a system there is very shallow definition <coughs> we could we can or, or we know that systems thinking taxonomy is not compatible with bis business taxonomies and there are many disciplines that are not compatible with each other and it's a problem but by using systems thinking it's possible to create such kind of models that are totally transdisciplinary so that information can go from one discipline in other another discipline for example this business model canvas there which is a popular design purpose uh, is dedicated into business just in value propositions for this case and so just for customer segments and revenue streams and so on but they are so specific uh, that they cannot be connected into other disciplines but this is um, better one because it's possible to create many systems many purposes in the same body in the same principle in, in order to make 
in the center there doer the object or subject or phenomenon very flexibly so that we have many system definitions for example customer definition and product definition and so on and uh, process definition manufacturing definition also and then to combine them uh, their SWOT analysis for example <coughs> this is the description about innovation it comes from here <coughs> left and low corner into the right and upper corner it goes this way Mm, then the demo, very very small demo is uh, Open AI, how to create a browsable system model, for example this, how to concentrate in any topic, in any discipline. This is a body, background is from Open AI, AI discussion, are you something yet? And the machine answers. I'm not capable of something yes, or consciousness. And the persons who are using this product, they are, mm, they are confused because they don't understand what is happening and how reliable it can be. But in this principle, it's possible to get definition for open eye AI to make it a model, third level model, it's a first level model here, history, website, products, references, reception, it's strategy, business strategy, participants, motivations, in order to draw a, a model positions PowerPoint smart object and, and so on. But this is uh, an article body. It doesn't respond to the, those questions, but it's a se trade secret. It's possible to make it more and more perfect in any direction by coming, going to history in order to understand motives better and so on. <clears throat> what is the secret behind open eye? Then when this is a system model for the article, then the next is for, for the product. And it is showing here. First, its background, its AI research, new architecture, information to user, user consultation is the process, we get reception from customers, new strategy, <coughs> define what is its input, and theories. This is a model for open AI and it's possible to make it richer and richer by getting more information in any direction. Then a third example here is hydrogen economy. We show a principle of that, that we have here renewable energy sources and their energy vector, how to create energy and to, to use and to deliver it to customers for industries and traffic. And the output is water. It's so renewable. This is a typical business model describing hydrogen economy and such kind of other innovations. It contains of sectors, but the sectors are not coherent. They are only definitions. <coughs> Mm, by getting a table of contents, for example, this is a Wikipedia contents again, it shows this, we have here rational history and so on about 
there is there are nine different kind of topics. And the model for that is something like that. Now the symbol B it, it defines history like in open AI and this part here theory is a rational. What is the purpose of hydrogen economy? And then input and output there are only examples and pilot projects, projects because this is not uh, very well known innovation. There are many questions here. Then D means production, storage and infrastructure. It means new paradigm and definitions of how it can be used in future. And C, now C is here current hydrogen market, economy market. And then E is here the ways to use it, for example, in traffic. And then again, um, success or not success, what is the status of partial hydrogen economy in future with information about safety and cost? Uh, this is a model of hydrogen economy and it can be extended by getting information from relevant information sources or from experts who have does it knowledge. Emergence is here either to success or fail. <coughs> then summary and conclusions. This is a typical definition diagram about systems thinking and there are persons here below who are competent in use of the new terms and they apply systems representations, systems concepts and patterns and principles and they are a basis for new work and the persons use systems approach applied to engineering systems and it's possible to develop science, develop science and science is body to know solutions. <coughs> but it is not so easy in practice because there are so many different kind of concepts and patterns and so on. There are so many system thinking methods and principles. They are not working with each other as good as German has connected software development. There are some criticism in research papers and research sites like this. Why? Does systems thinking not succeed in meeting professionals and expectations from it? Uh, from pioneers of cybernetics, Fred Alec has said in his presentation touch of the great transformation of the sensory that solid cybernetic management will be the functioning and cultural ability of the society and of complexity. It is, it is his future. And in this presentation system science is seen, has been seen as uh, the principal theory of software work and cybernetic perception, knowledge, reason, understanding. <coughs> In industry, there are some new st standards like Industry 4.2, 4.0. Uh, it, it has five definitions, configuration, combination, co cyber coordination and connection. And 
by using them it's possible to describe what is cyber physical systems and it's one approach which is going forward into define also social systems in the same way configuration cognition and some other things and so social technological system principle is one of the most interesting research topics also because it defines new kind of society which you which can use technology efficiently in future and systems thinking and cybernetics are the best way to scientifically map what tacit knowledge actually is Uh, Russell Akoff has said many decades ago that why few organizations adopt systems thinking that the problem is communication with reader and the authors this is one approach to create something new new formal this uh, set of symbols but that define the most abstract system it's a meta meta level formalism and from which kind of property this kind of set it's possible to derive other definitions for any kind of systems top level approach and then in order to specify it more and more accurately this is the SESI model again and we have created solutions and demonstrations for this part externalization in order to get groups to work better and this kind of information can be used in combination for example for delivering, delivering documents and models for customers and any persons then this video is one <coughs> step in the series of beauty of science and is is assumed to be ready in the end of this year welcome to what's also the next coming video see you bye